All right, then. What is going on, guys? And welcome back to some more new Danganronpa very free healing harmony. And uh, today we shall do more free time events. And the next victim is gonna be Kokichi. Um, I do believe that he is actually in the dorms right now. I checked. He definitely must be in his room. So, yep, we're gonna be talking to him today. And uh, well. I can't say, f I cannot say that I am 100% thrilled about having to talk to Kokichi and all that. I mean, okay, there are some things that I would like to say here, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna go into more detail in the comment section if you ask me and all that. But basically, uh, like I said, I can't say that I'm 100% thrilled about talking to Kokichi and all that. And you, I'm pretty sure you noticed throughout chapter 1 and the first class trial that I'm not very fond of him. Mostly because I, I see him as a as a dangerous person that that might do some very horrible stuff in the future that will make people suffer or end up tricking some people into another murder and all that. And... He's also very difficult to deal with when it comes to him lying all the time. Like, I have to question myself whether he's actually telling the truth or not. I just... I don't know. But I've also talked to some people about this and it made me think that maybe I'm being a little too harsh on Kokichi, maybe I'm... May I mean, after all, he he did like nothing too terrible in the first chapter. Yeah, he did some like it did see it does seem like he doesn't really give a shit about anybody, and he did take the spotlight a little bit in some of the non-stop debates and all that. But besides that, he didn't do anything horrible and all that, at least yet. So you know what? I'm gonna go through these free time events today in a calm way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be calm today, ju just like I tried to be before. I, uh, I, I don't think I have been very angry at him up until now. I've only been annoyed at him and all that. So today I'm gonna be a little bit more calm. I'm gonna try to be more professional and all that. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see if I can guess whether that is that is a truth or a lie. Question every single thing that he says. We shall see. I have already spent like one or two minutes talking about this sort of stuff. Let's just talk to Kokichi. And see what's gonna happen. I wanna die. I don't wanna die. I mean, not to mention that at the beginning of the series, some people have been telling me, Oh, you should definitely be careful about Kokichi. He's gonna be much worse than Nagito. He's gonna screw with you. He's gonna he's gonna make some people suffer and all that. It, it doesn't help that it doesn't help me that people have said that before. And I do trust some more people than I would trust Kokichi. It's just that I do have I do have to be careful here. I'm gonna live. Okay. I feel like he is faking this. Just like he did before. But, you know, if he is worried just a little bit, or maybe he's actually, or maybe if he's actually telling the truth right now, at least I will be spending some time with him and offer him a gift to make him feel better. Is Kokichi going to be okay? Maybe I should stay by his side. Eh, yeah, sure thing. That's so mean. What? Are you here to offer your life as a tribute for me, Kaede? <laughs> well, I can tell you are joking here. Or, once again, you... If you are the supreme leader, then I guess it would make sense why you're saying this. <laughs> I don't worry. You'd be born to kill you now. I'd be born to kill you now, so I won't do anything of the sort. Well, not that it matters anyway, since Kaede is gonna die soon. Though, 
I don't know. If I am to ex if I am to exclude my mentality that he is definitely gonna do something horrible in the future, I don't even know if you are actually gonna go that far as to kill or trick everyone into having another murder. Like something tells me you are, but again, I am offering you a chance here, Kokichi. I spent some time trying to prevent Kokichi from doing anything stupid. All right. Also, I don't even know what kind of gift I should give him. Like, I have been thinking about this. I know that. I know that he likes energy energy drinks and all that, but I can't say that I have a huge variety of drinks over here. I mean, yeah, we have tea, we have a cocktail, we have like alcohol, like non-alcoholic drink. I could give him fucking ketchup. I don't fucking know. Um. Uh, maybe some, maybe some bubble tea. A popular drink with a bunch of ta uh, tapioca balls at the bottom. The chewy tapioca, tapio tapioca, <laughs> the tapioca balls are made from the root of the cassava plant. Okay, well, I hope that you're gonna like this. Mm. I mean, it is the first free time event. I don't think I, I really have to give him like the best gift, because I don't even know what gift I should give him. This is a pretty decent present, Kaede. Are you starting to get me now? It feels good to know that you thought long and hard about what you to give me. Eh. In all honesty, I can't tell... I cannot really tell from what gifts I have what would be best for you. I mean, like I said, I, don't, I haven't found like any energy drinks, so... I guess... A boba tea would be the, the closest choice. Like outside alcohol. I mean, God knows we don't need a, a drunk Kokichi in a trail. <laughs> <laughs> it's really strange that you would come talk to me, come to talk to me, Kaede. Um... Uh, whatever. Yeah, I just felt like it. If you don't want to spend time with me, just say so. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? I'd never turn down an invitation from you, Kaede. Well, if you are telling the truth, does that mean that you see something special in Kaede? That you would never turn her down? I mean, if you are lying, then what's the fucking point? You mad? Kidding. That was a lie. Again, what would be the fucking point? Just for you to make fun of her? I guess. <sighs> Jeez. I'm already exhausted. Maybe I shouldn't have reached out to Kokichi. No, 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 Kaede, Kaede, Kaede. I know it's... I know it's hard to deal with someone like him when he lies, but... We don't really have a choice here. Come on. Oh, man. Hey, don't take that tone with me. After all, it's your fault I'm mean to you. What do you mean is it, it is her fault? I mean, are you referring to that incident with the death road? Huh? M my fault? Because you've forgotten about me. Forgotten? I mean, granted, I myself focus more on the other people than you because you lie all the damn time. And I don't particularly like people that enjoy lying like all the time, but it's not like we forgot about you. You're making it very hard for us to forget, Kokichi. Huh? Huh? Forgotten? Hmm. I can't bear it anymore. I haven't forgotten. I've been thinking about it this whole this whole time. Uh. Are you lying again? Jeez. Are you lying again? No. Um. Huh? Oh, I wish I was. But even I'm. But even I'm not that good at lying. <laughs> <laughs> I may be an evil supreme leader, but even my lies have standards. I don't know about that one. I don't think they really have standards to begin with. Like, so far you have been telling me like idiotic lies that even a child would would tell. It's not like you're making like 
awful lies. Like, for example, hiding the fact that you killed somebody or anything like that. I don't think they really have standards to begin with. Why can't you seem really serious about this? Have we actually met each other before? Then again, maybe... I don't know, thinking of a crazy idea, which actually it isn't that crazy given the fact that we're talking about Danganronpa, but... Maybe Kokichi remembers Kaede? Since our memories have been stolen once again? I don't know, it's... Maybe... maybe they met each other before, but why is it that Kokichi knows this and Kaede doesn't? That is, if he's telling the truth. Hey! Okay, then if you're not lying, can you help me jog my memory so I can remember? You know? Like, where we met or what was going on when we met, stuff like that. Hmm, hmm. let's see. We met... Yeah. Under hostile circumstances similar to this. Eh? Huh? Um, you sheltered me while I was on the run from my enemies. With your piano skills, you managed to raise enough money to fund my escape. But then I betrayed you. I sold you out to my enemies and you were swiftly killed. <laughs> well, now that's, now that's gotta be like the stupidest thing I've heard in a while. There is no freaking way any of that is true. Jeez, it was all a lie. It's a lie. Yep, it sure was. We met it. We met each other here. I can't believe you fell for that, Kaede. You're such a sucker. Well, now it feels like we're back to square one. We went through this entire f free time event, and I still don't know anything about him. You see. You, you see why I'm not that fond of him, folks. Granted, maybe there is a seed of truth, like like hiding there. Like maybe Kokichi fought of Kaede ever since the beginning of this kidding game. Like, maybe. But again, there is no way for me to know. All right, I'm back. But yeah, uh, there is no way for me to know. I mean, it would help me a lot if I know the reason why he lies all the time, if there is a particular reason for it. But if it's just for him to make fun of us, then he can, he can think of any lie imaginable, and that way we don't learn anything about him. I mean, okay, if there is a particular reason why he lies, like, there is, like Kokichi has some backstory that made him made him the way he is now but if he just lies all the time just for the fun of it then how are we supposed to, uh, how are we supposed to learn about him i just i don't know because people do that they, uh, there there are people out there that lie just for the fun of it it's just the way they are it's just it's it's a disease or something like that. I don't know the de the full details of that, but there are people out there that lie for no goddamn reason, and that's just wrong. Yeah, this is the sort of prank a kid who wants attention would pull. Well, you know, you keep this up, and you just might be the first one who gets killed. You know. Oh, pretty close there, Kokichi. Pretty close when it comes to what you said. I mean. You are you are being very mean to Kaede now. I can you just leave her alone? Like she died in the first chapter. I think that she's going through enough. So at least try to be sincere to her for once. But then again, you cannot be because you're a liar. Stop it. Hey Kokichi, some things are just best left unsaid. You know what I mean? Oh? Oh, you mad? Eh, yeah, sorry, sorry. And I won't say anything at all. Alright, well, like I said, I can't say that I got anything out of that, so let's move on to the next uh, free time event. <laughs> After parting ways with Kokichi, I returned to my room feeling very annoyed. Alrighty then, Kokichi's second free time event all year. Also, I am... I have been noticing some hiccups here and there when it comes to recording, so... If you do see, if you do see some frame drops in this video, then I apologize. 
then again it happens from time to time for some reason and I just don't know why Kaede, it's dangerous to wander around alone you know watch out people standing right behind you with a knife <laughs> okay eh, that's a good one like maybe it is Kibo's payback for what Kaede did to him like when it comes to you know that particular thing because I don't want to I don't want to say it out loud in front of Kokichi that was a total lie should I spend time with Kokichi yeah sure can, can it be are you thinking about killing me this whole time <laughs> ah, someone help me she's gonna kill me <laughs> all right all right calm down Kokichi no need to make unnecessary and then it no need to make an unnecessary scene here. Of course, you are for you. It's all fun and games. I spent some time running after Kokichi, who seemed to have fun being chased. <laughs> okay. Kokichi and I go a little closer today. Oh, did we? Did we really grow closer together? I don't know. Um. What is this? A gum that bubble gu bubble bomb gum. A gum that makes an explosive sound when it's fully blown and popped. We harder people should not chew it. Mm -hmm. Why not? I guess so. Enjoy. Hmm. Mm. I guess this isn't that. I guess this isn't that boring. Yeah, pretty good taste, Kaede. Well, not as good as mine. I'll surprise you with a gift one of these days, Kaede. Are you? I don't know about that one. Hey, 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 Kaede, can you do me a favor? Uh, I really have a bad feeling about what I, whatever this favor is. Don't worry. Ah, oh, don't give me that face. I wouldn't ask you to do something crazy, like kill someone. Jeez. K Kokichi, didn't I tell you before that some things are best left unsaid? My bad. Oh, sorry. I never said I wouldn't say anything, but that was a lie too. Um. Anyway, about this favor I need, can you use your talent for me? Um. My talent? Use her talent? Why? Yeah. Yep. Will you, the ultimate pianist, work with me after we escape? Why? Oh, but you'd work with me once you become the former ultimate pianist. Why? Hey! What do you mean? See? After you graduate high school, you'll probably go on to represent Japan as a pianist, right? If that happens, you'll be flying all over the world for concert tours and stuff, right? Hmm... Oh, well, tours as a pianist? Me? I don't know about that. Don't worry! Why? I know you could do it, and you'd be so popular too. Well, if she could do it, yeah, but... Can you actually tell me sincerely that you think high of her? Or is this like another trick of yours? Like, you don't even need Kaede to work for you because you think so lowly of her. Yeah, there are going to be some hiccups here and there. Hmm. That's why I want you to become an agent for my organization. Huh? W what the? Because? As a famous pianist, you'd be able to enter any country without arousing suspicion, yeah? You'll probably meet important figures from different countries, too. It'd be amazing! If your secret organization is real, then... No thanks. I don't think Kaede would do something like that. If you're lying about even being the supreme leader of an organization, then... Clearly there is no point to this discussion we're having. Except for you to make fun of her. Jeez. I think your imagination is running wild, Kokichi. Either way, I really don't care about this discussion. I think that in a certain situation like this, whether he's telling the truth or a lie, Kaede could just leave the room and just do whatever. It doesn't really matter. But I just know that will happen, okay? So Kaede, let's make a deal. Join my organization, and together we'll do as we please to all the stupid plebs in this world. Let's sit on top of the world and look down on everyone else. <laughs> Don't you just want to watch the world burn? 
That's fine too. We'll light the whole thing up. Right? The ultimate supreme leader and the ultimate pianist joining forces sounds pretty sweet, huh? Jeez. What the hell are you talking about? Oh? Huh? Hey. You claim to be the supreme leader of some evil organization. But that's just a lie, isn't it? I mean, does this organization of yours even exist? Nehehe. <laughs> <laughs> I am a liar. But you fall for my lies plenty of times. Why are you so certain this is another lie? Jeez. Why? Because it's common sense. There's no way your evil organization exists. And it's crazy to think you're some supreme leader. Mm. Common sense, huh? Common sense. Le sense commun. El Santiro Comun. Joshiki. Kokichi, what the hell are you doing? Now you're speaking in different languages. Like, what are you doing? So many words that even mean common sense. But who decides which one is right? Why are you so sure that your idea of common sense is the right one? Well, yeah, you cannot be sure. Like, anything is possible. Anything that is out of uh, out of our common sense. I mean, a teenage girl that looked like a fashionista, slutty version of a of a Barbie doll, managed to take over the world. I mean, the same goes for Kokichi being a supreme leader. It's out of common sense, but it can happen. However. However, you still haven't sold me on the on the fact that you are a supreme leader in the first place, Kokichi. Um. Huh? Well, you know. The Ultimate Initiative chose me to receive the title of Ultimate Supreme Leader. And I'm the real deal, handpicked by the government. What does your common sense think about that? Hmm. That's true, but... But... But you think I'm not a supreme leader, right? Because that's what your common sense says. Oh? It's funny. Is your common sense really so similar to everyone else's common sense? Okay, Kokichi, we get it. Now, can you just prove to me that you are the Supreme Leader or not, for crying out loud? Because if you can prove it, then I would actually believe you. If you have solid proof that you are. I'm not gonna question you if you if you prove it to me, but so far you have you even told me that it might be a lie that you are supreme leader. So, so what do I know? Is what you believe to be right based on your common sense also right for everyone else? Stop it! S stop screwing around! <laughs> uh oh, Kaede yell at me. That's right. Anyway, the Ultimate Initiative should have given you the title of Ultimate Liar. <laughs> maybe it should have. I am a liar after all. Or maybe you do have the title of Ultimate Liar. But you are just hiding it and calling yourself the Ultimate Supreme Leader. But then again... You are lying all the damn time, and even you yourself are telling us that you are lying all the time, so... What will be the fucking point in hiding the fact that you are a liar? That is, if your true ultimate title is that of an ultimate liar. I mean, if you, know, if you are not the ultimate liar, then... And if you are not the ultimate supreme leader, then what is it? What is it that you are not telling us? I don't fucking know. But you know I'm only saying this because I actually care about you. Right, Kaede? You can keep thinking like that. But don't come crying back to me when things don't go your way. Ah, oh, jeez! Mind your own business. And I refuse to be your agent. Uh... Man, what a shame. You didn't sound too upset about that. How far is he willing to go, to go just to mess with people? Yeah, I don't fucking know. I'm... I mean, what he is saying about common sense is right, but... Still, I... I got nothing. 
Alright, well, our next target is gonna be Mew today. We're gonna be talking to her as well. What? W what? Mind your own business. <laughs> and here I thought I was ex and here I was expecting an insult thrown at Kaede's boobs on first sight. Like, is something wrong, Mew? Ugh. Okay, having some hiccups here once again. Should I spend some time with Mew? Sure thing. Shut up! Fuck off! You'll be like 10,000 years before I allow a bitch monkey like you to address me. Oh, there you go. That's the mute that I know. Until you evolve into an actual human, just shut the fuck up! Jesus. Okay. Well, you know what to do, Kaede. Let's see if, uh, if we're gonna be able to talk to her in a serious manner, I hope. I spent some time sitting next to Mew in silence, just like she ordered me to. What compelled me to obey her like that? I don't know, but I think I actually have a pretty good gift for her. <laughs> I think that she's actually gonna like this one. Hold, hold your pants here, ladies and gents. Hold your pants. I think I know what. Uh, I, I think I know what she's gonna like. She's gonna like something like this: a tentacle machine, an extremely handy reach or grabber. Once you use it, you can't live without it. Oh yeah, it brings some. Jolly old good memories, that's for sure. Yeah, it's just reminding me of Ultra Despair Girls, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this one too. What was that? I uh, wanted this so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I took you for an idiot, Kaediot, but it turns out you're actually pretty useful. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that you're happy. I could give you one of my inventions as a show of my gratitude. Oh, is that so? What? What is it, Sartit? You better have a dang good reason for bugging this bit of a genius. Sartit? Yeah, I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. Can you? Can you have? Can you actually resist? Or are you gonna yell at her once again, telling her that your chest is better than hers? You know? Nothing much. I just wanted to talk to you for a bit. Huh? Huh? Talk? Why the fuck do I gotta talk to you, dumpy tits? Dumpy tits? Just grin and bear it. You can do it. I'm the one who decides to talk to her. <laughs> Alright. Just try to resist there, Kaede. Just try to resist. I don't think... Uh, uh, even though I don't think Kaede's gonna resist her kitty comments. Uh, I guess so. I get. I. Uh, it would seem that we will have like another booby fight in here. I mean, that is a normal thing, coming from our TD Typhoon girls here. Oh, I am bored. How about you start talking about something that will interest me? You got no boobs and nothing interesting to say. You're fucking hopeless. <laughs> Kaede. Poor little Kaede and her sad sort dumpy tits. That's wrong. What? How could you? Who are you calling sad sort dumpy tits, huh? <laughs> okay. I guess that is one way of calling her. What the? Don't shut all of a sudden. You know how fucking rude that is. Well, do you know how rude it is to insult a woman's breasts? Jeez, you're the rude one here. I was holding it. I was holding it in, but this is the last straw. Huh? Oh, I get it. Don't tell me. <laughs> You're jealous of my fine, sexy body. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, those are, those are all good choices. Um. <laughs> Let's just go with this one. Jeez. I don't know. Boobs are just lumps of fat. Yeah. Yeah, like, boobs are overrated anyway. Like, in my book, what I myself believe to be the sexiest part of a woman's body is the brain. Boobs are also an added bonus, of course, but not 100% needed. Huh? That's all the jealous, titless bitches say. Why don't you go cry about it, Muffin Top? Oh, shoot. 
<laughs> I guess from the perspective of a girl, that wasn't really a good answer. Um, well, uh, she has Shuichi, and you don't have anybody. Ha! How about them apples? Aww. I have muffin top. <laughs> Pianists don't have to do any physical or mental activity. That's why they're all fat asses, huh? Ah, Neil, some things are best left unsaid. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. Fuck that. I'm Neil fucking Roman. I'll say whatever I fucking goddamn fucking want. Got it? No, you can't. If you keep acting like this, everyone will get sick of you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine by me. A true genius is never understood in her time. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Don't leave me hanging. I want to hear you talk more shit. Christ, this was, this was a savage free time. Okay, maybe we're gonna have better luck next time. I know that there's gonna be a lot of work, like a lot more work to do when it comes to Mew. We will have our TD Typhoon duo, damn it. Alright, so well, now she is in the warehouse for some reason. I bet that she is actually collecting some stuff for her lab laboratory. What are we gonna do? No one said anything about the time limit. Actually, I don't even remember. I think that <clears throat> her, lab, her lab has opened after the first two free time events. Mm. I know. You should kill yourself. You can even make it look at uh, you, you can even make it all look all glamorous and shit. Okay, come on, Mew. Don't be like that. Can I spend some more time with you? Wait a minute, are you here to kill me? No, if you kill me, you won't just piss off my fans. You'll piss off all of humanity. Well, I don't know about all of humanity, but fans will surely be pissed. That's for sure. Mm, a fully automated shaved ice machine. A shaved ice machine that automatically crushes up ice and pours, pours strawberry syrup on top. That might actually be pretty good. <laughs> Damn, Kai idiot! You actually brought me something nice! Alright, I'll show you an invention of mine. I bet you're so thankful you're about to cry! What? Huh? You're, ni you're not interested? Why? <laughs> okay, there is a strong hint there. It is extremely unpleasant. She may be a genius who invents useful stuff, but that doesn't give her a free pass. We got into an argument last time, but this time I'll get her straight. With that in mind, I inv invited Mew again today. Yeah, you know what? I think it's time to talk to her seriously about this. Maybe, sh maybe she is like this, but I know that she can become a better person if we try to make her believe that we actually care about her. Like... She is the way she is because she is... I can imagine that she is lonely. Because she doesn't have any friends and all that. She doesn't know how to... How to act with people and all that. <laughs> you wanna be with me that badly, huh? Didn't you, didn't, didn't realize you were such a clanger? She says that, but she's wrong. That reminds me. When we argued the other day, she looked pretty happy. What's up with that? You know? Hey Mew, can I ask you something? What? what? What is it? Um... Do you want to talk to people, Mew? Huh? Huh? I'm talking to you right now! Are your ears... Are your ears as worthless as that flat chest of yours? Jeez... See? That? Why do you always have to say more than what's necessary? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? More than what's necessary? Ah, uh, jeez... You should stop saying things that could hurt other people's feelings. Shut up! Hey, I'm just saying what I'm already thinking. Nothing I say is wasted words. Got it? Only little kids can get away with saying the first thing that pops into their heads. The fuck you just say? You know who the fuck I am. When you're Mew fucking Iruma, you can get away with saying all kinds of awful shit. <laughs> oh yeah, because I fucking rule. And who's letting you get away with this? Jeez, I'm surprised you were able to attend school like that. <laughs> <laughs> School's not a place for smart people. Waste of time if you ask me. 
but if I dropped out, all the dudes who whack it on my pictures would get so lonely. Oh, well, you may be right. What do I even say to that? Does she even have friends at all? Nah, she probably doesn't. Hey. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. Hey, do you have any friends that you can argue with? Like what we did the other day? What? W what if I don't? Hmm. Just as I thought. I knew it. That's why she seemed happy. Wait! Hey, it's not like I don't have any friends. I just don't talk to plebs like you is all. Mm-hmm. Now that is a lie, Mew. You know it. So in other words, you don't have any. Oh, it's obvious why when you're like that. Shut up! You shut up! I don't need you worrying about me. Jeez. Oh, I am. What? He... You know? If you continue like this, then you won't be able to live your life to the fullest, Mew. Yeah. Pretty much. Distancing people the way you do is very, very unhealthy. I mean, you're missing out on cool stuff if you aren't nice. I... I don't know. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I'm an inventor, remember? Well, maybe you are an inventor, but first and foremost, you are a human being. One that needs someone else in their life, too. I mean, trust me. Trust me when I say that loneliness is a very difficult thing to deal with. I mean, do you want to talk shit all the damn time, Mew? Because... I mean, you probably do because you've been so used to it, but... You, you, you can do something much better for you. Even as the ultimate inventor, you're only useful to people who need your inventions. That too. And if we're talking about your professional career... You definitely won't go far with that attitude of yours either. Yeah, you just hit me below the belt, right in the lady balls. Um, <clears throat> I think the lady balls are above your belt in that case. Got it. Anyway, while we're here, I think you should get used to talking to people. Um, hello, what just happened? <sighs> I'm tired. I tried to have a normal conversation with you, but I'm sure I used a year's worth of patience. <laughs> <laughs> Not too shabby, Kaede. I think I understand how to deal with players like you now. I'm glad. Oh well, at least my hard work paid off, somewhat. Your meddling was unnecessary, even creepy. Hey, I guess I'm sort of grateful. <laughs> Maybe I'll invent a gadget to breathe some life into that flat chest of yours. <laughs> oh, jeez. You didn't learn anything. Well, it is progress. I mean, if it's true, then I guess I guess she will think about it more. I guess the TD Typhoon girls will live to tell the story for another day. Well, not quite, given the fact that Kaede died. But why is it that I always reference... Okay, hold on a second. Okay, why is it that I always reference uh, Kaede dying in all of these free time events? Oh, Jesus Christ, I mean... I okay. Alright, we got her... Friendship fragment. Now it's time to move on. <laughs>